Hello, one and all. I'm Eki Thump. Let's have a bit more Shards of Azuria, shall we? Um, when we left off, it was kind of the middle of the night, and uh, we just kind of finished getting our wall down. I think up here, this is telling us to go back and speak to Gregor once again. So let's go and have a word with him. Hello, friend. What have you got to say this time? Ah, you're finding your way around, all right. The woodland outside of town is pretty big. <coughs> pretty big, and continues on through different caves. Alaris spent some time exploring and put together a rough map on what he saw. Yeah, very rough. Okay, so this is like this is um, the part where we enter from Azuria. Then we've got a cave then some wild beasts and a undead area and some crystals and buried treasure I guess looks like there's a river that runs through the uh, through the first mountain huh there's a few notable things you marked on it please take it I'm sure it'll come in handy for you More to say? Great to see you. I hope you've kept up with your crafting. Why not take a look at my wares? You never know when you might need it. Okay, he sells uh, mana potions. He sells berries. Some gems. Uh, some ore. Uh, and cloth. So we can make uh, potions from crafting. How do we do that? I suppose it'll be in a misc. Oh, we need to, we need to farm empty potion bottles. Uh, it's nice that it tells you where to find things. Right, it's late, so we need to get some sleep. But yeah, it is quite nice that the game does tell you where you can go to to find crafting materials. Oh, it looks like everyone's got new quests for us. So, Grigor. Oh, if you are thinking of building yourself a home with a nice bed in it, then this will come in handy. And like the first teleporter shard I gave you, this will take you to the last place you slept. It might come in handy if you have a place out in the woodland and want to get back there. Thank you very much, Gregor. Uh, so each of the masters needs to speak to us as well. Ah, oh, you appear again. But this time you are familiar with deadly thrust. This pleases me, yes. One feels that you should accept my task, yes. Slay four bees, each must be killed in one hit with deadly thrust. Hitting them from behind should ensure this. Yes, do this and I will reward you with three essence of cunning. Quite an offer, hmm? Yeah, so uh, this quest only triggers on like day three to day six, I guess. Okay, what's yours then? Working hard? I see you're using the Shard Blade ability now. You're walking the right path, one of tenacity and ferocious determination. Anyway, as I'm sure you're aware, Shard Blade is useful for hitting multiple enemies at distance. It's also useful for digging through lots of blocks. For your training, go and destroy 15 blocks with Shard Blade. Then I'll reward you with 3 Essence of Might. Consider this a temporary offer though. I don't tolerate procrastination. Now get on with it. Alright. Uh, oh wow, we don't actually have the money for... 
like 96 coins for a wooden shield. All right, uh, and we've still got the the man here to do. The student returns with increased knowledge of mysticism. It seems you are now proficient with ice shard. Excellent. Perhaps now would be a good time to test your skills with it. If you prove yourself capable enough to destroy four glowworms all at once with ice shard, then I will reward you with three essence of mysticism. The glowworms should be distinctive enough as they wander the woodland and have a bright green glow. Good luck and stay safe out there. So that's the point. We need to get a bed down. I'm pretty sure we don't have a bed in our little, uh, our little camp out in the woodland. No, we have no bed here. What do we need to make a bed? We need to find some cloth, which we can get from cotton found in the woodland. So, our next task is to wander around the woodland and find... Oh, there's, well, there's some cotton there. Uh, hold on then. How do we make cloth? Is it under misc? Yeah. Okay, so cotton makes cloth. And also cloth makes mystic cloth. Oh, we need a spinner. We need to get a spinner down. Uh, what does a spinner take to make then? Two cotton... Oh, we can actually build that right now. So let's get one of those. So, spinner. Oh, there we go. Um... I might try and move all this. I'm not entirely sure. I want the base here. I might, I might actually want to um, dig myself a base into the mountain a little bit later on. But for now, uh, we just want to get the bare essentials down. Alright, so I need to, uh, to gather up a nice pack of glowworms. Because we've got to try and kill four at once for this mysticism quest. Come on, follow me, glowworms. Oh, damn it, now we've lost one. These things aren't easy to herd. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. Oh, god damn it, we only got one. Okay, well, we got uh, an essence of cunning from that anyway. Let's keep trying to round up some packs of these things then. Come back here, you son of a bitch. Alright. So we've got to uh, got to make sure we don't kill any one of them too fast. Actually, this is quite difficult because we're um, we're getting critical hits on looks like on some of the uh, some of the glowworms. Uh, what we might have to do is whittle it, whittle their health down a little bit. So 
So like, that one is now at fairly low health. Let's whittle him a little bit as well. Let's keep dragging him around, looking for more of the little swine. Don't go away. Come back. I'm probably meant to have some uh, like plus intelligence equipment to try and do this. Like increase the power of Ice Shard. Oh, got to be careful there. Swine. Right, you follow me, you follow me. You lot follow me. Try and avoid bringing the bee with you. You come over here. Alright, come on chaps, nice and tight, nice tight formation. And you, come on. No, don't run off, come on. Uh, see, I'm getting too many critical hits. I'm gonna have to get some uh, some plus intelligence gear, I think. I'm also not entirely clear how you sneak up on bees to get this because we've got this deadly thrust ability, but we have to be behind a bee to to like deadly thrust them. Let's keep this party going. We're just going to drag a bunch of glowworms down until we eventually get this quest completed. Just making sure to... Oh, nice, we leveled up. Okay, I'm not sure entirely what uh, what leveling up does for us. Oh no, don't run off. Come back. Right, you're almost dead, so we can actually get this. But now we've got to get you all grouped back together again. You, 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 and you. Come hither. And you, come on. Come on. There you go. God damn it, did we really only get one of them with that? They were nearly dead. Come on. Come on. Come on, little glowworms. Look, just group together, will you? Come on. No, see, we still only got one of them. Oh, there we go. Got them all. Gonna get all that experience. Okay, that's one task complete. So let's return to our wizard master. I am mostly interested in following the path of magic so far. 
I just love playing wizards, man. Meow. Oh, I think Nia is right. You managed to kill those glowworms with ice shard. Good going. Please take these three essence of mysticism. They're yours now. You're becoming rather adept at using mysticism abilities. Well, keep up the good work. I will read up and prepare something new for you. Farewell for now. Alright, so we've got three essences of mysticism. Uh, Orb of Light is one we could possibly look at. Now we could get... Um, hmm... Infernal Misery is a spell we could get with Mysticism Essences. Uh, it's the blue ones. Uh, so what else could we get? Well, we need gems. We need to go digging for gems in order to get to get our spells up. Oh, we can buy them. Drop ready from some creatures in the dungeon. So there's an extra like power level of uh, spells. We could make an orb of light. Uh, but what would be next? It would be uh, an orb of infernal misery. Uh, a fireball in other words. Sounds reasonable. Uh, how much cash have we got? 72 coins. We can't craft any armor, can we? Well, we can craft armor. Let's see, wooden chest armor. Chitin crest, uh, strength. Simple mage hat. We can start using the essences to craft some of this stuff. Craft some of our own armor. Hmm, what do we do? Um, I think I might go and just try digging into the caves. Gonna go and, we're going to go and try out this shard blade on the blocks, on the, the like, cave wall. Ah, no we're not. We're going to make a bed first of all, aren't we? Uh, and then we're going to go and try out the shard blade, going to try some digging. Uh, so, we need to be on the lookout for some cotton. Now, how do I backstab these bees? Like, you can't get behind them. There must be a way to sneak somehow. I don't really get that though. There must be a sneak skill that I'm missing somewhere. Alright, let's have a bit of a prowl and find some cotton plants to make ourselves a bed. Ah, there's plenty over here. I wonder what grass, grass tufts are useful. There's plenty on the crafting menu I haven't really explored yet. Well, that should be enough for a bed. Uh, okay, cloth we should be able to make quite a bit of. Okay, what are we missing? Uh, chunks, planks, cloth. Let's 
Let's see, we've got the planks. Uh, I think it's chunks we're missing. No problem. Chunks are quite easy. So three cloths, we've got planks and chunks. So when we get back to the spinner, we should be able to... Is it the spinner or the workbench? One of the two. But we should be able to make that anyway. There we are. Wooden bed. All right. So that's a little base camp for us out here in the woodland. Uh, we could do with some torches to light up the area around the place and light our path. All right, so we can have a torch there. Now this is WASD keys. It actually feels all right. This is... Um, As I mentioned last episode, there, there were quite a lot of complaints that I saw on Steam about how the controls didn't really feel right. I think they're from older versions, because now you can like, remap the WASD keys so that W is actually up, rather than being aligned with the tiles. Or, of course, you can just use right-click movement. Alright, whatever. Uh, that's good enough for that. Uh, we should probably get at least one torch inside as well come to think of it let's have a torch there uh, and then basically I want to start digging into the rock I want to find some gems I want to see how thick it is and whether I can like um, how much space I've got to actually build a base there Uh, in the meantime, I, suppose, I guess I could go and cut some trees. You know what, we should make that light orb spell. That's going to be so useful if we're going to be wandering around at night. So abilities. Orb of light. Let's uh, put that on zero. Sweet. It's not as good as having a a candle with us, but it's pretty close. I'm pretty sure that no matter what we do, we're going to want a lot of wood, so... Um. Oh, it's on a minute cooldown. If I get two orbs of light, then can I um, can I cast it twice? Let's find out. So I'm going to craft the second orb of light. And pop it on the bar there. And one of them's on cooldown. And we can actually use the other one. Great. So I can have two orbs of light and bypass the cooldown that way. It does mean I've got to take up two quick bar slots, which may not be ideal in the end. Unless I want to go through like casting it from inventory. Well, that's nice. Essence of Cunning. What did that say? I think that said something about giving me a new quest. Well, let's go and see, because um, Gregor's popped back up and so was um, Hestia, I think, the pink woman. Let's see what they've got to say.
been a while, ain't it? I'm still the same old Gregor. Except now I've been a bit silly and had a little wander in the woodland. I went and had a run-in with a big scary skeleton. Almost had me head before I'm made off. Do me a favour, would ya? If you see it wandering around the woodland, check if it has my notes. I had just written a lot of important thing about the dungeon on those notes, so please try and return it. The skeleton was quite far into the woodland, past the first cave and had a blue glow around it. Oh, check the map that Alder has made. It should help you figure out the woodland a bit more. Ah, that's him. Okay. So the spooky scary skeleton, he's in like, past the first layer of dungeon caves in this bit here. Alderus said he spotted the blue skeleton and put it on the map. Hopefully it's still around there. Just see what you can do. Good luck. Okay, and um, what's Hestia got? Oh, it's you again. I'm so glad to see you again. I hear you've been getting on great in town. To be truthful, I could really use your help. It was only earlier today that I went and bought Mr. Flopsy. He's an adorable little white rabbit. I just love rabbits. Things were going great until he went and ran off into the woodland. To be honest, I think he might have been scared of me. Heaven knows why. I'm not strong enough to venture out there, but I know you can manage. Please take this carrot and lure Mr. Flopsy to you. He loves carrots, so I'm sure I'll come over. If you manage to rescue him, just come straight back here. I hope Mr. Flopsy is okay. The Carrot of Truth. Equip the wieldable carrot and use it to capture Flopsy. Carrot of Truth. Um. Okay. I wonder what the, what's that, that old tree then? I wonder if that's where Flopsy's gone. I know I'm delaying the uh, dig a little bit. So that way to the caves, this way, hopefully to Mr. Flopsy. No. No, Mr. Flopsy. Uh, I'm sure we'll find him. In the meantime, let's go to the cave. See if we can figure out how deep it is. Ooh, what do we have here? Someone's house. God damn it. Well, I nearly managed to Ice Shard Deadly Thrust. Hold on, if I freeze this B... Oh, I just explode him. Okay, that counts for the quest. So if we freeze him, then Deadly Thrust him... That counts for what's his face, his quest. Um, Phonos. Oh. Unfortunately, the bees are weak enough that we do actually explode them in one hit most of the time. We don't actually have to be behind them, I don't think, as long as they're damaged enough. Yeah, okay. We don't need to bother trying to figure out the game's stealth system. We can just cheese it. Freeze them and then... Oh god damn it. Deadly thrust them. Ooh, what have we got there? A jar of honey. Okay, we'll check out this 
house, and then we'll go back to uh, to Phonos. Who's this? Douglas. Phew, I'm worn out. I bet you're strong enough to lend a hand. Ah, you have a rock hammer too. I've been busy trying to dig into the hillside to the southeast. There's precious ores and gems in the caves inside. Do me a favour, would you? Try and dig away into the cave. Just walk up to the hillside and keep bashing your way in. Dig your way into the hillside. Well, that's what that was my plan anyway. Uh, we are going to go back to town though and hand in this quest to Phonos. I think I want to start buying some magic gear. We are only level two. Um, which means we don't get access to any of the nice armor pieces, but we get some stuff, I'm sure. Once more, you appear. But I sense that you have made the kill. Yes. You have indeed vanquished the four bees. I must reward you with three essence of cunning, as I stated. Yes. What is there in the way of uh, cunning spells? We've got Deadly Thrust. Then there's Arc of Pain. Uh, an Arc of Daggers, which causes low damage and does a 4 second stun. Ah, there is a Stealth ability, but we need Quartz Gems to make it. These seem like they're the wrong way around. I feel like I should get Unseen and then get uh, Deadly Thrust afterwards, because that would enable Deadly Thrust quite well. And then at Master level there's Spike Traps, Flash Attack, and Decoy. There's some cool stuff actually in the Cunning Tree as well. But I think we're going to stick with the plan and go Meiji. So I can make a plus 12 in staff. Being level 2. Let's just keep in mind what we can make. So I can make a plus 12 in staff. I can make a plus 5 in... Mage hat. And plus five in boots. No chest armor yet. So what does Albina sell? Oh, he just sells the same stuff, but we have to pay a lot of money to get it. 160 coins. 792 coins. Okay, I think we might just make it. We'll save the coins for buying supplies. Alright, so task one, we're just going to try and get to get ourselves a location in the mountains if we can. Go a bit Dwarf Fortress on this. Oh, I can actually break the hives. And get some free honey that way. That's nice. And clear out some of the some of the bees off the path. Alright, so I guess it's this hillside. We just need to dig into it.
Very nice. Okay, it is a bit of a pain. Uh, it would be nice to be able to rotate the camera here. Because I cannot see for the life of me what I'm doing. It is very difficult to actually work out which block I'm hitting here. Okay, so the digging system could do with a little bit of work, I think. It is very difficult to tell which uh, which blocks you're actually hitting. Well, it's difficult to tell where you need to stand to hit the block you want to hit. Um, and there were apparently some blocks in the way that were preventing me from getting here. Like, I think there's a row of blocks along, like hiding behind this one. But they're uh, occluded. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to rotate the camera. Oh, and we've dug, dug, dug. Uh, let's see what Douglas has got for us. What's the reward for digging some blocks? Oh, you did it. Great work. I can put my feet up now. Thanks. Here, take these torches. I won't be needing them for now. They give us ten torches. Not bad. Alright, um, I'm not sure it would actually be such a good idea to try and build a base inside the... Uh, like, inside here. Just because, like, see how high these walls are? They actually extend up like two or three blocks, and the ones on this side make it very difficult to see, like, what's on the floor down there. Um, we could plan it out so that everything's along the northeast wall that we need to to see, perhaps. Maybe we could do that. Uh, it looks like there's quite a depth of like cave here Is someone trying to dig through the wall oh Well, you're a big bunch of guys, aren't you? And what's that thing? Tiny legs. Leave my torch alone, you son of a bitch. Broke my goddamn torch. We can actually use ice shard for mining. It does damage blocks just like everything else. <laughs> That's quite good. I still prefer the control of doing this though. Um, well, I think mostly we're going to want doors to be on the southeast. So maybe we can find a section of rock face that's uh, got a bit of a curve that way to it. Like here, for, for instance, we could dig in. Up that way, or even over here. Uh, 
There's not really enough of it there, though. But here we could dig in a bit and then dig that way and, and stick a door in and start digging out like a proper chamber. Maybe that would be a good place to, to set up. Uh, well, maybe. Um, I think I might have to think about this some more and come back to it next time because I am running out of time for this session. Uh, that's a little bit more of Shards of Azuria. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game. I've been Aki Thump as always and I will see you next time.